Hey everybody, Brad coming at you here with my Hall of Fame ballot. It's that time of year again. And I don't know if it was last year, one of the years I forgot to do it. So, um, and I try to always do it, so some of the older people have been making videos for a while. You guys check out their channels, that's really why I do it. So, um... We have a new commissioner for it this year. It's no longer Mike Baseball Collector. It's Jake from Legends Never Die, a.k.a. Ticket Leprechaun. You might also know him as. And he changed the rules a little bit. So you had to be making vids for at least three years, which that was a great rule chain. I'm glad he did that. And to vote, you have to be making have made content for a year, which is another great rule change. So props to you, sir. You did very well with that. And only five people are allowed to get in. But you can still vote for ten on your ballot, but only five people are getting in. So either way, those are just some of the rule changes. Definitely, I'll try to leave that original link in the video in my description, along with the ten gentlemen that I came to. Now, I literally wrote on a piece of paper, I went through my subscription list, and I wrote down 46 names. Now, the problem is, is a lot of these people don't make bids anymore, so they got kind of disqualified. Um, but just to give you guys an idea, like I've only been doing it since like 11 or 12, 2011, 2012, somewhere in that time frame. And... Yeah, that's how many names I had that are truly like, and I'm not just saying that because I either I was friends with them, like are truly like Hall of Fame type people that weren't even in here yet, weren't even in yet. So just to give you an idea, um, I, I saw in a lot of the comments, I don't think I can come up with 10 people. Yeah, you know, a lot of these newer people, you know, with the criteria of three years or longer. So that's why I'm really glad he did this. And some of the channels that should long be in, maybe we'll get in. Anyways, there was a few guys I was going to put on the list, but they deleted their videos, a lot of their old videos. So it looks like they've only been making vids for a year. So if he went and looked at it, he'd be like, wait, they haven't been making vids for 10 years, even though they have been. So there was a few of you, the two Gregs, Be More Greg, Greg Thomas 82. I noticed you guys deleted your vids, so that's why you're not on this list. You would have been. Um... But I, I noticed that with a couple of people, they deleted their videos. So now it shows that they hadn't been making vids for that long, even though they had. So anyways, here's my official list. Here we go. Number one, Amish Dave Archer. Dave, we always joke about Dave that he probably has a storage unit full of cards because, well, he collects everything. Uh, he's the man of a thousand PCs. And uh, right now, I'd say he's focusing probably on Martin Brodor from his playing days. But uh, the guy literally, he collects everything, and I love him to death. And he's a Hall of Famer in my book. So Amish Dave Archer, number one. And like I said, I'll leave this in a nice little list, Jake, so you can just copy and paste or however you're going to tabulate them. Number two, the guy I thought in got... Thought I got in last year, and here I realize he didn't. And how did we not let this guy in? Bart's cards. Bart, the PSA guy. Bart, who what was that other name he goes by? But he goes by Bart's cards now, so that's what we're going to put him in. And uh, huge PSA collector. Now he'll collect other stuff. 49ers fans, Jerry Rice, number one PC. I always enjoy his bids. He will collect baseball if you like baseball, but also football. And he collects like random stuff, like back guy, back guy Hall of Famers and stuff. I love it. So, Bart, I was shocked you. I thought you got in last year. Apparently not. So, um, we're going to make sure you get in this year, pal. Number three. It is because I'm Carlos. Guy I've gotten to know the last probably two years. Collector of Mike Pagano. Dabbles in Juan Soto is a Packers fan, but I don't really see him pick up much Packers stuff. But Mike Pagano is his main PC. And he's also known probably around the community now for 
I don't know how you say talking about the ongoings in the community. He's very good at it. Definitely, uh, definitely go check him out. I have not only he'll pretty much anything you want. If you like guys who just talk about the hobby, he's your man. If you like guys who collect, especially a super collector of a player, he's your man. So because I'm Carlos, you're on my Hall of Fame ballot. Number four is a Packer fan. Oh, man, how do we get another Packer fan here on the list? Joey, Burt Cat 8, collector of Bart Star. Biggest Bart Star collection I know of. Uh, works on Spectra Hall of Fame set, NFL Top 100 set. Have any of those? Hit them up. He might need them. Um, guy I've known for a long time. And yeah, you should go check him out because he has an infectious personality. You'll love his vids. So if you aren't watching them, go freaking watch them. I'll have the link below. So, Joey, Burp Cat 8. You, sir, are on my Hall of Fame ballot. Number five. Another guy's been around a while. Probably, I think, as long as me. Joey was actually on there longer than me, I think. Dave, Midlife's Card Crisis. Another guy. Why ain't this guy in yet? So, Dave, collector of, I mean, even though, honestly, he has bad taste in teams, New York teams. I mean, come on, dude. But even though he's a Jets fan, we do get along because, let's face it, both of our teams just stink, so we can't really hate each other that much. But uh, Dave's Midlife Card Crisis loves five-star, any five-star baseball autos, football autos, definitely hit him up. He, he, I think he's addicted to five-star. But uh, definitely go check out Dave. Dave, Midlife's Card Crisis, you are on the list, sir. Number, where, where am I even at? Number six, another guy I'm shocked still hasn't got in. Like, probably the elder statesman of this list, Michael Shane, Jericho, 941 IMI, the Johnny Bench collector. Now, the last several years, Hank Greenberg as well. Um, but yeah, what in there to say about this guy? One of the nicest dudes in the community. Shows just some just nasty crap. Also a Vikings fan. So, I mean, he's been suffering long enough, people. Let's get him in the Hall of Fame. But Michael Chain, you're a Hall of Famer, sir. Jericho941 IMI. Another guy, if for some reason you don't know. Well, I can't. All right, next up. We at number seven. Another guy I'm shocked still hadn't got it. Like Purple GT twenty two, Mister Steve Finch. You want to talk about a guy who's been on here forever? He has had some of the craziest videos back in the day, and this is a guy I'm glad he's left all his vids up. It looks like I just encourage you to go binge watch some of his older vids prior to him getting sick. And see the energy <laughs> this guy had. Complete nut. But I mean that in a good way. Also, Falcons fan, Braves fan. Um, loves, uh, clicks wrestling and MMA stuff, too. Um, definitely go hit him up. Steve Finch. Known him a long time. Needs to be in the Hall of Fame. Purple GT 22. I believe that's still the name. That's the name I know him as. That's the name you're going in as. Purple GT22, Steve Fitcher, all favor. All right, next up, we got another super collector. Still, still throw out the occasional bit every three to four months. That's why he's still eligible here. Like I said, there's so many old guys I can put in. I told you there was 40-something names or something on my list. This film not yet rated. Another Michael. Clay Matthews, super collector. Also likes to collect Packers. Every once in a while, he'll throw in some, like, musician autos or something. You know, he'll, he'll throw in a loop. But mainly Clay Matthews, he's known as the Clay Matthews guy. So if you're on forums or something and you hear about the Clay Matthews guy, it's probably Michael, Michael Phillips. This film not yet rated. Unbelievable collection. You're in, sir. 
Um, number nine, a guy I'm surprised isn't in, especially with all the baseball people, because now YouTube is mainly made of of the baseball guys. It seems like. Lefty NDV10 Drew. Now, a collector mainly, we'll still dabble in the new stuff, but mainly T206 is what he's into. Always love watching his vids. I always learn something because that's stuff I have no idea about. I always enjoy watching the vids and he always explains them and like backstories of the players. You baseball people are going to love this guy. Okay. So he also is a Falcons fan, Braves fan. Oh, that sounds familiar. It's two of those on the list. So Drew, lefty NDV10. Finally got to meet him this past year at Nats. That was cool. Um, you need to be in, sir. So last but not least, I had two names on the list. So basically the tiebreaker went to the oldest dude. Because I was like, so sorry. So the guy who got in was my man Victor. Victor Negron Cards. Knicks fan. Poor guy. I mean, that alone should get you in, right? Um, Victor Negron Cards. Bernie Williams Collector. Has like a billion cards, it seems like. Knicks fan. Been on here forever. Another just seems like the nicest guy in the world. So, I mean, I don't know if somebody else knows something different, but he definitely seems like it. And he's been making vids for quite a long time. So, Victor Negron, you are in, sir. Sorry, Ken, at Beans be Ball Card Blog. You were the next one on the list, man. But Victor beat you just for the fact he has been making vids longer, so maybe next year, sir. I didn't forget about you. And there's also, like I said, 30-something other names on my list that either they just kind of quit making vids. So that's why I didn't put them in on this list. Because really the point of this for me is so you go check out these channels if you don't know them that still make content. So there's my list. Recap. Amish Dave Archer. Bart's Cards. Because I'm Carlos. Joey Burkcat 8. Days Midlife Card Crisis. Jericho 941 IMI, Purple GT 22, this film not yet rated, uh, Lefty NDV 10, and Victor Negron cards is my ballot. I thank you all for watching. Like I said, I'll have this all in the link below, and so you can easily copy and paste my voices and all that good stuff. So definitely go check the guys out. I promise you won't regret it. Bye.